Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Isang malakas na palakpak sa Diyos na buhay. Give Him the best clap of praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. And allow the Spirit of God to move and bless you today. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Come on, utter that praises. Tell Him that you love Him. Tell Him that you need Him. Oh, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Come on. Yes. Yes. He said, out of your belly shall flow the Spirit of the living God. Give Him praise. And let there be anointing touch of the Lord. Let there be His presence. Oh yes, if you need healing, ask the Lord to heal. If you need discomfort, ask Him. Bible said, ask and you shall receive. And Lord, thou art welcome in this place. Let's just sing that song. Come Holy Spirit, fall on me now. I believe the Holy Spirit is about to do great things in our midst. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every hand lifted up. If you can lift up your hands, like a child, ask for His touch. The Holy Spirit is moving now. I love you, Holy Spirit. You're captivating my soul. Thank you, Lord. And every day I go to love. One more time. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Even to the thousands who are watching by a live stream, God is not limited by distance nor by time. Yes. Even for you, whom you want your loved ones to be touched, ask the Holy Spirit to come. I love you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And every day I go to love you. Say to Him, I'm reaching for your heart. Reaching for your heart. You hold my life. Just hum from the beginning. Just hum the song and allow Him to move in this place. Oh, Holy Ghost, move in our midst. Just move, Lord. The sweet, gentle touch we need. Let those who are physically tired be refreshed by the Lord. Those who are emotionally tired, be comforted by the Lord. Believe for your healing. Believe for your miracles even right now. I'm reaching for your heart. You hold my life in your hands. Drawing me closer to you. I Just utter what you desire that He will do in your life right now. Tell Him. If you want to thank Him for what He had done, then do so. If you want to ask Him, then ask. Ask. Heavenly Father, we come to your gathering today. And on the time of the preaching and teaching of your word, let it not be with enticing words of man's wisdom, but let it be with demonstration of your power and of your spirit. Minister to your people, O Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen! 
And while on your feet, while on your feet, open your Bible with me. In John chapter 14, beginning verse 12 up to verse 14. John chapter 14, verse 12 to verse 14, reading from King James Version. And the Bible rendered it this way. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. May God bless the reading of His word. Please be seated and give God one more best clap of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. For those who are uh, stranded at the back, Please find the seats that you can comfortably sit down. Glory be to God. Before I go to my message, just want to recognize two special people whom the Lord has brought for JIL Canada, JIL team, who are here with us and the desire to help us improve with excellence the management of our Jesus is Lord Church. The first one came from Alberta. Who has relatives from Alberta? Mount Dame. She is a member of our church management team in Edmonton, JL Edmonton. She is a uh, registered CPA of Canada, Canada registered accountant. And member of our finance ministry, married to a good man with three children. And me and Pastor Rose, personal friend. She is here to lead in the presentation of a very vital technological improvement of the JL Church that many of you will appreciate it once it is implemented. Should I give them the hint, honey? Should I? Okay, she allowed me to give the hint. Very soon, probably by January, many of you, if not all of you who are members of our church, will be given a, uh, like, you know, in shoppers, the scan, ano tawag doon? Ha? Barcode, the barcode. Para yung inis na inis ng pagsusulat ng pangalan, di na kayo magsusulat. Tatapat na lang kayo, tatapat na lang kayo doon sa uh, parang scanner, Sasabi, kukunin nyo yung inyong barcode. Pwede sa cellphone, sa cellphone, ipipicture niyo yung barcode ninyo, itatapat nyo lang yung inyong cellphone, registered na kayong umaten nung Sunday. Ayan. Nako, Palakpak ng malakas yung nagustuhan yon. Ayan. Kaya yung mga ushering natin, relax-relax sila. At sasabihin lang sa inyo, welcome. Kayo naman, kik! Baga gano'y, ink! Tutunog, papasok na sa computer na kayo ay umaten. Eh, paano, pastor, pag nawala yung barcode, mukha ninyo ang iiiskan, mukha. <laughs> Kaya wag yung iwawala yung barcode. <laughs> wag yung iwawala. Pwede sa cellphone, pwede nakakabit sa... Nagahanap pa lang kami. Eh, may natuklas ang kami, may isa pala tayong pastor na ang business ay eh, paggawa ng mga barcode. So, ikakausapin namin siya in the right time. Pero sa ngayon, papel-papel lang muna. Yung ilalaminate, ilalaminate. Uh, ang ating nagpipresent noon, at papasok din ito sa finance, yung mga doni naman, yung mga doni, hindi na kayo pipirma ng palit ng palit ng pangalan. Kung hindi, nakabarcode na rin. Yung inyong, ang isusulat nyo na lang yung inyong uh, amount ng inyong ibibigay. Yung sa ating finance naman, uh, hindi na nila didikta yung pangalan, ipapasok lang rin yung barcode, lalabas ako sino ang nagbigay. Kaya hindi na ma malalagay sa ibang pangalan ng inyong donation. Kaya pag end of the year, pag kukunin na ninyo yung inyong resibo, mabilis na mabilis na. Kasi ilalabas lang yung barcode, ipiprint na yung inyong donation. Tama ba ako? Baka iba naman yung aking kwento. Anyway, patayuin lang natin. Ah, bago yon, yung isa naman siya ang head ng ating Western US uh, Western Canada Finance. Nandito siya pa, kasi ipapairal ito sa buong JIL Canada and probably buong JIL Americas. Yung una, si Sister Elaine Rivor at yung pangalawa, yung ating uh, uh, finance head ng officer ng buong Western US, Sister Gaisel Kumatsu. Pwede ba kayong tumayo para ma-recognize? Paki-focus nga sila sa camera. 
Pakipokus para makita parehas na married na yan. Pakipokus, gusto kong makita doon sa camera para makita. Kasi hindi sila makita eh. Pakipasok yung video nito. Sayang yung inyong pagbibideo dyan, hindi pala nakikita. <laughs> so hindi ba? Hindi ba mapakita? Ala. Wala eh. Ba't hindi nakikita sa TV? Ayun! Ayan, ayan, ayan. Uh, ayan. Praise the Lord. O ba? May flying kiss pa. Okay, palakpakan natin uli ang Lord. Uh, alis na sila maya-maya after the service. Babalik na sila at uh, gusto naming maobserbahan nila ang ating service. Hopefully, they we are blessed and they will bring home an inspiration, encouragement from the Lord. Amen! Mabilis na mabilis lang. In next 20 minutes, let me share to you the message the Lord placed in my heart. I titled it, Greater Miracles, Signs and Wonders. Everybody say, Greater Miracles, Signs and Wonders. One more time, Greater Miracles, Signs and Wonders. Say to your seatmate, Greater Miracles, Signs and Wonders. My brothers and sisters, do you know that there are many miracles, many signs and wonders that are happening daily in the lives of many, even in our surroundings. Are you still with me? But what we need is a kind of miracle that is directly related to us that will transform and bless our lives. Do you know that it is possible even today, and most especially today, to experience greater miracles, signs and wonders? Why not just miracles and signs and wonders? Why it's greater? I will share to you four undeniable facts why in our generation, greater miracles, signs and wonders are possible. Are possible. Say to your seatmate, these are all possible. Say to your other side, these are all possible. Four things why it is Possible, number one, you know this already, but sometimes we overlook it. Number one, greater miracles in our days today is possible because of the coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Because Jesus Christ, the promised Messiah, already came. Do you know that before the Messiah came, in the Old Testament time, miracles are only happening once in a while. It is not a common thing to happen. It only happens to one person, to another person, depending on a situation. When God created the world, look at Pastor Bong. To date, to date, there are just approximately 8.7 discovered species and under study by scientists and many people. But do you know that in the very Ba vastness of God's creation, there are around 100 million species. And humanity is only one of them. That's already a wonder. Amen? And now in this humanity, God invested so much that the miracle that He wants to do in every miracle that are happening, it must all be related and beneficiaries or beneficial to each and every one of us. Now, before Jesus Christ came, as I mentioned, miracles are happening once in a while. Because the Messiah has not yet come. The anger of God due to the man is more dominant than the grace and the mercy of God. That's why before, unless you are called a prophet, unless you are called by God in a special way, you can never experience miracle. That's why during those Old Testament time, people need to come to the prophet to seek God, to be prayed for. Remember in Old Testament, I think in uh, Book of Numbers, there was a certain person named uh, Naaman. Naaman? Naaman? Hey, Naaman. The, 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 the Syrian army captain, Naaman. Okay. He was sick. He was sick. So the servant girl, the caregiver in their house said, if only my master will go to Israel and meet the prophet, he will be healed. And of course, we know the story. He was healed. 
And it only happened because the prophet Elijah was especially called by God. But do you know today, you don't need to be a prophet to experience greater miracle? What you just need is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Why? Because according to Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9, 9 verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace in the following verse, verse 7, and the government, uh, go, and yan palang verse na yan, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Brothers and sisters, because Jesus Christ came, the power of the living God is now open to all people, to you and to me who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not like before. Before, you just need, you need to go to someone who is especially called by God. But today, when you have Jesus in your heart, because Jesus, what Jesus Christ did, next verse, next verse, next slide, sorry, next slide. Luke 2, 11 to 14, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and he shall, this shall be a sign uh, unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in a swaddling clothes, laying, lying in a manger. Next slide. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly Host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill toward men. Peace, goodwill toward men. Because Jesus Christ came, now people can experience the peace of God that passeth all understanding. Look at your seatmate. Say to your seatmate, I have peace of God because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang ating Diyos na buhay. Ang kapayapaan ay nararanasan natin dahil dumating na si Kristo. Dumating na si Kristo. Kaya nga dapat ang Pasko sineselebrate tulad ng mga Pilipino. The longest and the happiest Christmas is happening in the Philippines and in the house of many Filipino. With your respect to other nationalities who are here. Why? Because the greatest thing began to happen when the Messiah came. Do you know that during Old Testament time, when they are singing songs in the Old Testament time, it's in Loki. Like they're saying this, Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice. 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 That's how they sing. They sing the, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Loki. But when Jesus Christ came, it's in the hierarchy and in a very exciting way. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Hierarchy. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Amen. Nagbago, nagbago. Why? Because the Messiah has come. That's why if you are not experiencing miracle today, it is not because it's not possible, but simply because Jesus Christ is not in your heart yet. But when you receive Jesus, greater miracles, greater signs and wonders can happen in your life. Give God one more best clap of praise. Next slide, please. Next slide. 1 Corinthians 15, 3-4, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, St. Paul said, how that Christ died for our sin according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, He rose again the third day according to the Scripture. Why it is important that the Messiah came? Because when He came, Bible said that He died for our sin. Remember Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. Death. All of us has death sentence. Look at your seatmate, share to your seatmate, mamamatay ka pala. <laughs> Ngunit may buhay kang walang hanggan dahil kay Kristo. Amen! Now, it's important for us to understand that the death sentence that was to, supposed to be in us, upon us, was transferred to Christ Jesus. Bible said in Philippians chapter 2, He who was in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but found himself of no reputation, found himself in the likeness of men, and became obedient unto God even unto death. Jesus Christ took over uh, the penalty and condemnation of our life and paid all our sin. That's why when you receive Jesus as Lord and personal Savior, you are accepting, or God is accepting, the penalty of our sin in behalf of Christ. It means that you, have, you are not anymore a sinner. Look at your seatmate. You'll say to your seatmate, Hi, saints. 
Parang hindi kayo naniniwala eh. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, tingnan mo sa mata, santa, kung baba, lala, babae, pag babae, santo. Ulitin natin, parang hindi naniniwala yung katabi mo eh. Sabi mo, because of Jesus, you are now a saint. You are not a sinner. Amen. That's why miracle is now possible because when God look upon us, He look upon us with peace. Second Corinthians chapter five, seventy two twenty one. It says, therefore, if any man is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. All things pass away. Behold, all things becomes new. And Bible said that we were given a ministry of reconciliation. Therefore, be reconciled with God. Verse twenty one says. In verse 21 of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, it says that He who know new sin became sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. That's why today, we can approach God and ask for His grace and mercy and help because when God look upon us, He don't see our sin anymore. He see Jesus who died for you and for me. That's why today, greater miracles is possible. One more best clap of praise to the living God. Kung hindi ka nakakaranas ng Himala, hindi na problema ng Diyos yun. Problema mo yun. Pag tinanggap mo si Jesus as Lord and Savior, bukas ang pintuan ng Himala. Parang ganito lang yan, nandito ka sa Canada, naghihirap ka, problema mo na yan. Kung sa Pilipinas, naghihirap ka, okay lang. Kasi less ang opportunity doon. Are you with me? Kung dito naghihirap ka pa rin, ikaw na problema, hindi na ang Canada. Are you with me? Ngayon, kung kayong mag-asawa may problema, dalawa kayo ang may problema. Yung walang asawa, hindi niya ako maintindihan. <laughs> It's important for us to know greater miracle is possible because of Jesus Christ. Because in Christ Jesus, all things becomes possible. Amen? One more. Look at this verse. Look at this slide. Yan. God's greater glory and greater miracle is made possible when the promised Messiah came into this world to open a way to God towards humanity. 2 Timothy 2.5 says, For there is no one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ is the one standing between the gap. Number two, why greater miracles, signs and wonders is happening today? Because we are living in a better covenant of grace. Everybody say, better covenant of grace. Before this, before Jesus Christ came, miracles are not possible because at that time it's based on righteousness by law. Everybody say righteousness by law. It means that you can never approach God if you are doing bad things. And sad to say, no one is not doing bad things in the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 53, all have gone astray. They have done their own. That's why during the Old Testament time, Once a year, people will bring a sacrifice to the Lord, but they cannot directly present it. They will choose a priest, a high priest. Among the priesthood, they will choose one high priest. You know they are, why they are called high priest? Because of the high price. You know what's the price? Their life. This is what they do. All the sacrifices they will do on the holy place, then the high priest will get the blood, And alone, enter into the Holy of Holies where there is a curtain separating the holy place to the Holy of Holies. And then the priest has a long rope tied into his body. May tali. May tali. Hila-hila ng mga regular priest. Pinapakawalan. Step. Tapos may bell. May bell sa laylayan ng damit. Kling-kling. 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 Kling. Parang ice cream. Kling-kling. And then, i-offer niya yung sin of the people. But before that, he will first offer his sacrifice to the Lord for his personal sin. Are you with me? Now, this is what will happen. If his offering is not accepted by God, what will happen? The sound will become, Kling! Then silence. Because the person fall down and died. And what happened now? The people, the priest outside, will pull the dead priest, high priest, And then the priest will say, who's next? No one will be like a priest, high priest that time. Are you with me? That's why at that time, no one can approach God. But today, 
Why greater is miracle is possible? Because we are in the season of grace. You and I, whoever you are, whatever you are, no matter how you look, no matter how you smell, look at your seatmate, say to your seatmate, you're okay. You smell good. You're okay. Don't worry. <clears throat> you can approach God and find help not because of your good deeds, not because of your own righteousness, but because when Jesus Christ came, He opened the way of grace upon each and every one of us. Look at the verse. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace you are saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the, the, the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So today, today, you are being, you can approach the throne of God, not because you are gooder or the goodest of the family or the group, but simply because the God of grace in the throne of grace, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 or 6, 16, you, the throne of grace is open for us so that we can find help in time of needs. Next slide, next verse. I think it's there. Next verse. Next slide. Hebrews, uh, it is one verse. Hebrews 8, 6, 7. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he had made jater of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Everybody say better covenant. Better promises. It says there, for, for if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second for the second, the second, we are now living in the second covenant, which is a better covenant, a covenant of grace. Everybody say covenant of grace. One more time, covenant of grace. Next slide, next slide. This is what I'm looking for. It says, everybody read, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Everybody say without sin. That is Jesus Christ. Now, verse 16. Everybody read. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Ngayon, paglalapit ka ka Diyos, hindi ka lalapit na dili-dali. Sabi ng Bible, boldly. Meron kang karapatan. Meron kang lakas ng loob. You can now approach God boldly. Hindi yung, Lord, uh, Lord, uh, but you can come like children, like our children. I have three children. Yung aking tatlong anak, ang lalakas ng loob. Kung anong makita ang laman ng aming fridge, kuha lang ng kuha. Hindi tinanong kung paano naming nabili yun. Hmm. Bukas na lang ng bukas ng telebisyon, di nagtatanong kung nakabayad na ng kuryente. Minsan, pag may nakitang bagong damit, kala kanila susutin. Eh, bakit? Boldly, boldly, boldly. Tayo rin bilang kapag na kay Kristo ka, not anymore God is counting your sin. Ikaw na lang yon binibilang mo. Kaya hindi ka makalapit. Minsan hindi ka na makapag-church kasi sabi mo, naku, kakahiya, hindi ako nag-church nung nakaraan, wag na lang. Tuloy-tuloy ka na tuloy, hindi nakapag-church. Pero sa Diyos, nakalimutan niya na yung nakaraan. Ang mahalaga, dumating ka ngayon. Amen? Because, ikakam, grace, throne of grace. That's why the throne of grace, why miracle is now possible? Because the throne of grace is open to everyone because of Christ Jesus. And the Bible said, we can find help, find grace to help. Grace to help. Tutulungan ka ng Lord. Hindi niya tatanungin, Nagbi nagtatites ka ba? Nagbibigay ka ba? Hindi. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, nagtatites ka ba? Hindi yan tatanungin ni Lord. Sabi mo sa kanya, hindi yan tatanungin ni Lord. Ako lang nagtatanong yan. Tsaka yung pastor, are you with me? When you come to God, you come to God with boldness because you can approach Him because of Christ Jesus and God will not count your sin or iniquities because this is a season of grace. You can find help. Kaya kahit yung ibang tao dyan sa labas na hindi nag-church, nakakatanggap ng himala at biyaya. Are you with me? Kaya yung sabi, bakit yung hindi naman nag-church? Napupromote. Gracia ng Diyos yun. Sa iyo, hindi lang grasya, biyaya, pagpapala. Iba ang pagpapala. Are you with me? Sa kanila, grasya. 
Naawala nga ang Diyos kasi pag hindi niya bilis, wala na siya. Eh ikaw, hindi ka lang biyaya, meron ka pang pagpapala. Blessing, look at your seatmate. Say to your seatmate, I am blessed. I am so blessed. One more best clap of praise to the living God. Listen to this. We are now living in a better covenant than those who lived during the Old Testament, which is by law. Since the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we live in the season of grace. Next slide. Look at this. Romans 5.15. But now as the offense is also, is also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift of, God, of grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, has abounded unto us. That's why, my brothers and sisters, if you have a need, if you have sickness, if you have troubles in life, do not be afraid to approach God because this is a season of grace. Are you with me? Ang ayaw lang ng Lord, yung alam mo ng mali, ginagawa mo pa. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, itigil mo na kasi. Stop doing what is evil while the grace of God is there. Are you with me? Why? Because time will come, time will come. The grace of God will also end. And that is when the rapture comes. When the rapture comes. Ano yung rapture? The taking away of the believers. First, those who are dead in Christ. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to verse 18. The dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive will be caught up together with them in the cl cloud. And we shall be forever be with the Lord. After that, no more grace of God here on earth. The Antichrist will come. The sin of the world will continue to flourish. Then God will go back to Israel, dealing with the 144,000 Jewish people whom the God has covenanted with Abraham. These people will be saved. While our relatives will also come to the Lord if they, because they are left behind, some of them. If they have not accepted the Lord today, they will eventually believe on the Lord, but it's not any more season of grace. They will struggle in every way. Are you with me? Parang ayaw ninyo ng ganun. Kaya ang may iwan, bahala na kayo sa JL Cornerstone. <clears throat> Are you with me? Kayo na bahala rito. Anyway, maganda naman yung church natin dito. Pwede na rin kayo dito matulog. <laughs> In lang, your problem, you cannot... You, you will not be supplied by electricity if you don't have the mark of the beast in your right hand or on your forehead. Wala nang season of grace noon. Period na uli ng Antichrist yun. Seven years ruling of the Antichrist. Then after seven years, Jesus Christ will return together with the recipient of the grace in a glorified body. Are you with me? Napag-aralan natin nakaraan, glorified body. Everybody say glorified body. Ano ang glorified body? Hindi lang basta tumatagos sa mga pintuan, nakakapunta ng ibang planeta na walang sasakyan, kung hindi perfect body. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, may pag-asa ka pa. <clears throat> Yung mga pustiso dyan, magkakaroon kayo ng perfect denture. Are you with me? Yung mga katulad ko na ang tiyan ay pinipigil lang, perfect na uli yan. Merong mga abs. Amen. Hello. Yan, yung mga katulog na nag ng salamin, wala na yan. Perfect. Yung mga walang buhok, wala pa rin pong buhok. Ay, hindi, hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari ho dyan. The Lord will bring unto us greater things because of the grace of God. Amen. Somebody shout, thank you Lord. Hallelujah. So now, if you have a need, do not hesitate to come to God. Huwag niyo nang iuwi yung problema ninyo. Do not bring home your problem and your trouble. Are you with me? Do not bring home your sin anymore. Leave it here. Ikonpisal niyo na dito while it's season of grace. Kasi kapag dumating ang time, wala ng grace. Kahit anong kumpisal mo, wala na. Huli na ang lahat. Katulad nung iba, pag namatay, yung akala ninyo yung namatay, bakit lahat ang namamatay, sinasabi natin na sa langit? Eh kasi pangit namang sabihing na sa imperno yan. Are you with me? Hello? Pero ang totoo, look at Pastor Bong, the truth is, if that person did not accept Jesus as Lord and Savior while alive, season of grace, when they die, grace is, has stopped. Kapag ano yung malalamang papasok ng langit? Maraming pala tandaan, unang-una tinanggap si Jesus. Amen? Ikalawa, umaaten ng church. May mga tao gustong pumasok sa langit, ayaw naman pumasok sa church. Dito, Dito, mas maraming papasok sa langit dahil nasa loob na kayo ng church. Are you with me? 
Amen. Give God the best clap of praise. But, 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 it does not mean that all of us will go to heaven. Only those who accepted Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Say, say to your seatmate, see you in the rapture. Say to your seatmate, I have a mansion in heaven. Because I believe on Christ Jesus. Amen. Ngayon, kapag pumunta kayo sa mga namatayan, huwag niyo namang sabihing, nagchachurch ba yan? Huwag niyo namang sabihing, tumanggap ba kay Jesus yan? Tapos, eh, hindi, hindi. Ah, impyerno yan. Huwag niyo namang sabihin. Inyo na lang yun. Are you with me? Sa inyo na lang yun. Umupo na lang kayo doon at kayo'y manahimik. Then, share niyo yung mga kamag-anak na buhay. Amen. Eh, bakit, pastor? Anong, eh, kahit anong gawin mo rin sa patay, kahit manalangin ka, Kahit sabihin mo sa kanya, Aba, ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, idali mo. Hindi na ako papasok sa langit yun. The season of grace ended when we die. But while alive, grace is available to each and every one of us. Amen! Are you still with me? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, I receive Jesus Christ. I am saved by grace. Through faith. Amen. Amen. Isa pa akong malakas sa palakpak sa Diyos na buhay. Number three, why greater miracles, signs, and wonders possible today? Because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Like Old Testament, the Holy Spirit only comes once in a while. When there is a message on when there is a miracle that He needs to do. Now, the Holy Spirit already are dwelling in this world, especially to the believers. Now, look at Pastor Bong. To the unbelievers, the Holy Spirit is not yet inside of them. He is just hovering like the wind passing by this world. But He wants to dwell upon us. When the Holy Spirit dwells upon you, then signs and wonders is possible. Look at Luke 4, 18 to 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus said, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. If you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior, that is also our ministry. That is also possible to us that we can share the gospel, and the people will begin to be convicted, and the people might experience signs and wonders, not because we are better than others, but because the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Look at the next slide. Everybody read, How bit when the Holy Spirit of truth is come, He will guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that He shall speak, and He will show things to come. He shall glorify Me, for He shall receive of Mine, and shall show it unto you. The Holy Spirit is now in us. 1 Corinthians, uh, Corinthians 3.16 said, We are temple of the Holy Spirit. Look at your seatmate. Say to your seatmate, You are a temple of the Holy Spirit. That's why you need to honor, respect that person. Because the one dwelling there is the Holy Spirit. Are you with me? Huwag niyong aawayin yan. Pag inaway niyang, kaaway niyo yung nakatira dyan, Holy Spirit. Nung wala pa si Jesus dyan, nung if that person did not accept Jesus yet, Hindi Holy Spirit ang nakatira dyan. Mga demonyo at demonyita. Tingnan mo ulo yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo sa kanya, nagbago ka na. Because the Holy Spirit is now in us. Amen! Pag wala ang Holy Spirit, sino ang nandyan? Ibang Espiritu. San Miguel. Sa ano pa? Ha? Inggit. Chismis. Ano pa? Kalungkutan. Kapangitan. Alam ba ninyo, look at Pastor Bong, bakit ang mga tao, why people, why there are two kinds of theory, creationist and evolutionist. Sino yung creationist? Creationist believe God created man in the image of God. Evolutionist believe that man is a product of the pro progression from monkey or anim uh, ape to humanity. But do you know, according to scientific study, if there are people that looks like monkey, take look at your seatmate, if there are people who looks like monkey, it's not because they are from ape, but simply because of two things. Number one, nutrition. If there are nutri wrong nutrition when you are children, you are eating wrong nutrition, 
you grow up like, look like a monkey. <laughs> Kaya kita nyo kami, ang gaganda at gugwapo namin. <laughs> Dahil sa kinakain, are you with me? Tingnan nyo yung mga anak na dito pinanganak sa Canada, ba't ang tatangkad? Ang gugwapo. Yung bata pa lang nandito na. Are you with me? Pero bakit tayo? Kasi ang kinakain natin, puro kanin. Are you with me? So yung pong nutrition deficiency, everybody say, nutritional deficiency. Yan. Hindi dahil galing sa ungguyang katabi mo. May mga kinain lang yan. Kulang sa tamang vitamina ng katawan. Are you with me? Ang isa ay, uh, ang isa ay from letter P. It means that there are diseases, diseases that started to develop into our body that makes us deform. Yung pagtangkad, napigilan, yung growth disease. Yung iba, yung hormonal disease, yung tabakan ng taba. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, tabakan ng taba, di ka naman kumakain. Merong, merong ganun sa katawan. Nalimutan ko ang medical term eh. Are you with me? Uy, wag nyo namang pagtawanan yung katabi ninyo. Nag-uusap tayo ng seryoso. Huwag. Kaya, importante. Now, this is what's important. Whatever that person looks like, when you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, that person become temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is power in that person. There is signs and wonders in that person. Isa pang malakas na palakpak sa Diyos na buhay. Yan, pag-aralan ninyo yan. Ano ba yung pangalawa? Nalimutan ko lang yung medical term. Baka yung mga medical practitioner alam yon. Yun yung general term ng mga diseases that cause deformities. Yung ba- ba- bakit maaga lumabo ang imata? Iba, luwa ang mata. May mga ganong diseases na hindi na-detect at early age. Katulad po ng mga discoveries ng mga, ng mga neodent, uh, ostrodental, uh, yung mga pangalan ng mga, mga fossils ng unang tao na sabi bakit mukhang unggoy, yung mga yun na-declare na yung either true ape or true man. Kaya lang sila ganun ang deform, ang form, dahil nga doon sa nutritional deficiencies at yung isa po, nalimutan kayong term, causes of diseases that makes them look like that, na deform ang kanilang katawan. Yung iba naka-bend ng gano'n, nakuha ang mga fossil, nakayuko. Hindi dahil si ay from, from monkey, eh magiging tao na patayo na, hindi ho. Talagang gano'n na sila. Yun po ang mga scientific study. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka galing sa unggoy. Amen! Do not doubt that. Look at your seatmate. You are created in the image of God. And you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, parang nasasaktan ka. You need to be liberated. Amen. That's why every time you look at the mirror, say to that mirror, you in that image, you are created in the image of God. Amen. Give God one more best clap of praise. And you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And because of this, signs and wonders are all possible. Are you with me? Now, if you are sick and the Holy Spirit is upon you, let that sickness depart from you because the Holy Spirit and sickness cannot dwell in one body. Allow the Holy Spirit to bring healing to you, starting by your mindset. Yung iba kasi binibabysit yung sakit. Kamusta ka na dyan? Diyan ka lang. La, 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 la. Are you with me? You start to identify, go to the doctor. Doctor, why I have pain here? Tulad ko, one time, may pain ako dito after naming mag-basketball. Blaro, ginawa kong player ni Pastor Alan. Part ako ng first, uh, first five. Eh, may kalabang kami. Eh, nung bata ho ako, hinaharang ko talaga yung katawang ko. Eh, 50 years old na ako eh. 52 actually. Sabi ko, kaya ko pa kaya mangharang? So, ginawa ko, hinarang ko. Yun naman kapatid from other church, hindi ako kilala. Talaga namang... <coughs> Parang toro. <coughs> ako, sakit-sakit ka ako, sakit-sakit ang katawan ko. Kako, parang, parang may nahulog yata sa loob ng katawan ko. Sabi ni Pastor Ross, pa-check up ka na. Kako, hindi, ano muna ako. Inu muna ako ng katas ng ampalaya. The Indian ampalaya. 
kinatas ni Pastor Rose. Inom ako ngayon. Pag inom ko, praise the Lord, nawala. Nalipat naman dito. Ngayon dito. Ngayon dito, iba na. Iba. Eh, may sakit kang nararamdaman. Huwag mong babyhin. So, kailangan exercise. Alisin yun. Amen? Huwag yung, ay, 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 matay ako. Mamamatay na ito. Alam mo, ay, Araw-araw, dyan ka lang, okay? Dyan ka lang, di. You need to do something to remove it. Amen! Amen! Give God the best clap of praise. So, we are temple. Everybody say, I am a temple of the Holy Spirit. And because of that, signs and wonders is possible to you. Why? Because the gift of the Holy Spirit will manifest to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Basahin nyo na lang sa bahay po ninyo. Last but not the least. Last but not the least. Oh, wait. Meron pa dito. The day of Pentecost give birth to the worship of Christian on Sunday as He has changed the makeup of the church from weak and afraid to strong and powerful. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind. Last but not the least, faith at work in us. Everybody say, faith at work in us. During the Old Testament time, look at Pastor Bong, their faith is so paralyzed. Why? Because the Word of God is limited to Ten Commandments, and also, they only hear it from the prophets once in a while. Are you with me? But when Jesus Christ came, He opened the door of grace, and the Holy Spirit came. And then God now speaks to us directly. Romans 10, 17, Faith cometh from hearing and hearing the Word of God. Matthew 4.4, 4, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceeded from the mouth of God, not from the prophets, but from the mouth of God. God is speaking to us in our daily devotion. And because of that, our faith becomes strong. And when there is faith, Bible said, nothing is impossible. This is the gift of God. Because we are now the temple of the Holy Spirit, because we receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior, and that is because of the grace of God. Now, how can we experience miracles? By faith, believing that God is at work in our lives. Look at that verse. For without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he who that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Faith. Everybody say faith. A simple acronym of faith. Father, answer in this hour. Not tomorrow, not later, but right now. That is faith. Why are you coming to God? Going to God because God answers prayer. Why are you calling to God because God listens to me? Jeremiah thirty-three verse three: Call unto me, and I will answer thee. He did not say I might; it says I will. Do you believe that? Say to your seatmate: I believe. I declare. I am healthy. I am wealthy. Because Jesus is my Lord, and because of His grace, and because the Holy Spirit is upon me. Amen? Say to your other side, I believe by faith. I will live long, longer than you. Amen? Sabi ko nung no, minsan, bago ako magtapos, ma makwento ko lang, nag-uusap kami mag-asawa, Sabi ko kay Pastor Rose, Honey, 75 years old, okay na eh. Pero yung pra prairie brother Eddie, 120 years, okay na rin. Pero ako, okay na sa akin ang, ikaw na ang mag-120, ako na 119. Sabi niya, bakit naman 119? Kasi kung 120, sino maglilibing sa atin? Ako na lang 119 para may maglibing sa akin. Ikaw, problema mo na yon 120 ka. <laughs> But the truth is, my brothers and sisters, when there is faith, all things are possible. Start your day believing. Start your day believing. Amen? Yung asawa ninyo, sabihin ninyong mabait, maniwala ka. Hindi yung kakagising pa lang, sabihin mo, oh, walang yaka, tumayo ka, o oh, ganun. Kakagising pa lang, nagsabi ka na agad ng hindi maganda. Are you with me? Yung mga anak ninyo, pagising pa lang, tawagin nyo, mabait, masipag, are you with me? Yung mystery niya sabihin mo, guwapo. Yung misis niya sabihin niyo, tahimik. Iyon ang inyong. Believe by faith. Amen. By faith. Everybody say, by faith. All things are possible. 
Yan ang miracle working. Eh yung iba kasi, katabi yung misis natutulog, puno ng pagsisisi, bakit siya? Bakit siya? Ano ka pusong ligaw? Sasabihin mo sa katabi mo, ikaw lang ang iibigin. Amen! Yung iba kasi, mali agad, pagising pa lang ng umaga. Mga madadapa ka. Kailangan, faith, speak the word of God by faith. Amen! Malapit na po ako matapos, palakpakan natin ang ating Lord. Mark 9.23, Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Tapos nandiyan yung Mark 11.20-24, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and because into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, he shall believe all those things, that he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever. Hindi sinabing many, but whatsoever. When you believe, you shall have whatsoever you say it. Amen! Kaya kapag may utang kayo, sabihin sa utang, mababayaran din kita. Hindi yung palaki ng palaki, palaki ng palaki. Are you with me? Believe that you are blessed. Why? Because you have Jesus. Because there is season of grace. Because the Holy Spirit is upon you, isa na lang ang kailangan mong pamuhayan. And that is faith. In Tagalog, pananampalataya. Are you with me? Everything evolves when you believe. Whatever you believe can come to pass. Amen? Are you with me? Sabihin mo uli, in the name of Jesus, I believe, I am healthy, I am wealthy, in Jesus' name. Now your faith must show into action. Amen? Sabi ka nang sabi ng healthy, kain-kain naman ng kain ng unhealthy. Are you with me? Kung ikaw healthy, ikakainin mo healthy. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, you are healthy. Eat healthy food. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, parang nasasaktan na naman ako. <laughs> Dapat healthy. Para ikaw healthy. Are you with me? So, ano yung seven habits of healthy living? Mahaba-haba na ako eh. Pero tapusin ko na. Una, eating the right drink. Ano ang sikreto ng right, uh, eating the right, fru- uh, right food? Ano yung right, fu- right food? Colored food. Colored food. Naturally colored food. Are you with me? Gulay at prutas. Nariyan pa ba kayo? Number two, drinking right drink. Ano yung right drink? Colorless water. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, water. Hindi coffee, hindi cola, hindi juice. Colorless. Eight glasses of water per day. Tanong mo sa katabi mo, nakakailang ka na? Why it is needed eight glasses of water a day? Because mabilis ang dehydration. Are you with me? Ano ang number one cause of dehydration? Salita ng salita, katulad ko. Are you with me? Katulad nyo, nakailang salita na kayo. Every day, women are speaking around 8,000 words. Every day. Men, 2,000. Kaya mas maraming nadidehydrate na babae. Are you with me? Hello? Kaya mga misis, bao ng tubig, Mr. Para mabuhay ng mga ba-misis nyo, hindi ma-dehydrate, bigyan nyo ng bigyan ng tubig. Kasi mula sa bahay, sa sasakyan pa lang, daldal na ng daldal yan. Hanggang pagating ng church, after ng church, magsisimula na naman yan. Minsan nga kahit tulog, nagsasalita pa rin yan. Kaya kapag tulog, magtabi kayo ng tubig, o gising kasi minsan pa <laughs> Dehydration lang yan. <laughs> So, walk by faith, not by sight. Amen! Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, I believe, I am healthy. I will eat healthy food. Drink healthy drink. Because I believe, I am healthy. Amen. One more best clap of praise. As I close, bago ako humaba, next time na lang, next Sunday na lang, yung additional, kasi ahaba tayo. But the point is this. Whatever situation you are in, do not give up on your situation. There is a possibility of miracles, signs, and wonders in your hand. Do not accept problem as your destination. That is only a way for you to be inspired to see the miracle working power of God. Are you with me? 
If you are sick, do not surrender sickness. Do not surrender to cancer. Let that sickness and disease be God's way for you to approach His throne of grace that you might find help. Amen? If you were removed from your work and unemployed, do not be discouraged. Bring that concern to the Lord because Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You are now can approach Him in the season of grace and the Holy Spirit is upon you to give you wisdom and to give you faith. Then declare the greatness and the good things of God upon your life. Amen? If you are a failure, you have failed. You have failed. You are not a failure. You just fail. Try again. You can always be given an opportunity by God to be successful and to be established in the center of God's perfect will. Are you with me? Would you please bow your heads right now, please? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As you bow your heads, first, I would like you to think and to ask yourself, where is Jesus in you? If Jesus is in, not in your heart, why not? Why not make Him in your heart? How? By simply accepting Him as Lord and Savior. If you have trouble, why not bring it to God? You cannot solve it on your own. Bring it to God. He will accept you. He will listen to you no matter who you are. And if, the Holy, if you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, definitely the Holy Spirit will come upon you to give you wisdom, knowledge, and other power of the Holy Spirit so that you can experience signs and wonders. And in everything, believe on Jesus. Believe on the power of the Holy Spirit. Believe on the promises of God. As every head are bowed, eyes are closed, may I request everyone to arise, please? And just for those who might be for the first time, has heard this kind of message about accepting Jesus, would you please lift up your hands and say this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, I confess all my sins. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me and cleanse me. And right now, I declare Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome and Thou art recognized in my life. Guide me and lead me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Now as you bow your head, close your eyes, give me a song please. And while they are singing a song, whatever you need, lift it up to God. Remember throne of God's grace. If it is a family matter, hold hands as husband and wife, speak it to God. If it is your individual matter or concern, then lift up your hands and show to God you believe that He is the answering God. To the thousands who are watching by a live stream, speak to God. He is not limited by distance nor by time. He is there to those who call upon Him. He is there. You speak now. You pray now. You ask the Lord to make miracles in your life. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, look at your people in this place. Look at them, Lord. You see, you said, Lord, in your word, your eyes is going to and fro the whole earth to show himself, yourself is strong in behalf of them whose heart is to, lo, towards you. Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. Therefore, I pray, Lord, bless and meet your people in this place. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Keep on praying. Jesus said on the text that we just read, Ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you are sick, place the one part of your, yes, your hands on your body and declare your healing. Say, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. If you have financial crisis or need, ask the Lord. If you need employment, ask the Lord. He can make a way where there seems to be no way. If there is a marriage problem, marital problem, family problem and concern, you ask the Lord for divine intervention. Ask for His peace to come upon you. Let's do it while we are singing this song, while the worship team is singing this song. Yes, keep on praying. This is your time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need I sense in my spirit, meron po rito ang inyong anak ay may sakit. Yes, whether they are here or not here, speak the name of your child, your child, and declare healing. Say to the Lord that sickness, yes, in the name of Jesus, yes, even skin disease, bronchitis, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you, I command you to get out in Jesus' name. 
and let healing flow in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, one of your child is in a kind of addiction. We bind it, we rebuke it. Yes, computer addiction. We bind you, we rebuke you, spirit. Get out in Jesus' name. Drug addiction, we bind you, we rebuke you. We command you to get out in Jesus' name. Gambling addiction, we bind you, we rebuke you. Get out in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your deliverance flow upon that child in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Meron po rito, naiya na kayong sabihin sa Diyos, sinusuko niya na, na kayo'y magkaanak. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, right now, revive that faith. Say to the Lord, Lord, we are renewing our faith. We are asking for a child from you, O Lord. Ask the Lord and you shall receive. Do not allow the devil to deceive you as if you've been deprived. Remember, in his time, he will make all things beautiful. Speak it out. I release upon you faith. And let that faith be revived. Let that faith be revived. In the name of Jesus. There is someone watching by a live stream. You've been deprived, yes, of going to abroad, specifically Canada. Yes, you already given up your hope in the name of Jesus. Yes, Canada is not your place. There's another place for you in Europe. Yes, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord guide you and lead you for better things He has prepared by God to those who believe. Pura masikalalamahay. Panginoon, pagpalain mo ang lahat ng mga kapatid na ito. Everybody sing that song. Christ is the answer. Thank you, Lord. Hands lifted up. Christ is the answer. Christ is the answer. To all my longings. To all believe it, believe it, believe it, believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Christ Spirit of the Lord moving. Greater miracles. Greater signs and wonders. It's your turn. It's your time. It's your season. Oh, yes. Amen. Declare it, declare it, declare it. Oh, hallelujah. Is all I need for the last time. Hands lifted up. Declare it, believe it. Christ is the answer. He is the healer. He is the provider. He is the miracle working God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Slip up that hands, and by the authority of the name of Jesus, I declare that each and every one of you will receive, will enjoy, will experience that miracles, that signs and wonders, so that you will know you are in a season of signs and wonders. Give him all the glory, everybody say, Hey. Give him the victory of clap of praise. Hallelujah. Yes, oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us declare that God already answered our prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the answer of our prayers, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.
Yes, I'm trading my sickness. 